Ian regains hurricane strength as it moved towards South Carolina. Rescue crew piloted boats and waded through flooded street Thursday to save thousands of Floridans trapped after Ukraine Ian destroyed homes and businesses and left millions in the dark. Hours after weakening to tropical depressions while crossing Florida Peninsula, Ian regained hurricane strength Thursday evening after emerging over the Atlantic Ocean. The National Hurricane Center predicted it would make landfall in South Carolina as a Category 1 hurricane Friday. The devastation inflicted on Florida began to come into focus a day after Ian struck. As one of the strongest hurricane ever to hit the U.S., the storm flooded homes on both the state coasts, cut off only bridges to a barrier island, destroyed a historic waterfront pier, and knocked out electricity to 2.67 million Florida homes and businesses, nearly a quarter of utility customers. At least one man was confirmed dead in Florida, while two other people were reported killed in Cuba after the hurricane struck the island Tuesday. Aerial photos from the Fort Myer area, a few miles west of where Ian struck land, show home ripped from their slab and deposits among stretch wreckage. Businesses near the beach were completely razzled, leaving just twist rubbish, broken docks float, at toke angles beside damaged boat and fire smugglers on lots where houses once stood. We have never seen storm surge in this magnitude, Florida government Ron DeSantis told a news conference. The amount of water that's been rising and will likely continue to, to rise today, even as the storm is passing, is basically a 500 years flooding event. After leaving Florida as a tropical storm Thursday and entering the Atlantic Ocean north of Cape Canaveral, Ian spun up into a hurricane again. With wind of 75 mph, the hurricane center predicted it would continue to strengthen before hitting South Carolina on Friday, but still remain a Category 1 storm. A hurricane warning was issued for the South Carolina coast and extended to Cape Fear on the southeastern coast of North Carolina, with tropical storm force wind reaching 415 miles from its center. Ian was forecast to show a storm surge of 5 feet into coastal areas in Georgia and Carolinas. Rainfall of up to 8 inches, threatening flood from South Carolina to Virginia. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.